Hey, we're gonna talk about Moe's lower body position and look at it from a back angle. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're gonna play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. Years ago, I was frustrated because I lost that. I was confused, I was frustrated, and then I met Mo Norman and learned the single plane swing. And so now, I wake up every day and I know I'm gonna hit it well, I know I'm gonna play well, I know I'm gonna have fun. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. Right now, If you play the tour now, Mo, what do you think you would be making in, on a bait regular? I mean, if you were to do what you knew now. Half a million. Half a million? Easy on the senior tour. Five more minutes, Are you coming out with your book anytime soon? No. Not going to tell anybody? No. No, I just, I just made a video last week. Oh, you did? It's going to come out. Oh, good. That'd be great. Wait a little that. Who, uh, it through Canada? Yep. Then they'll see the best move birds, ever. Mo. Oh, my then they'll see the best move ever and go. Then the world will see the best move ever and go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Left knee initiates your downswing. In other words, you don't do it with the hands, like Whoa, so. Keep the hands out of it. The you drop. You talk, talked about the drop, though. Sure. It's dropping because of your left knee. Sure. Okay. Watch this with the car this side. Right on the front car. Right on the front door. Uh, Miss the Biden. Okay. Oh, that does. That looks like the same thing. I hope not. Look at that. Did you, Paul Berthley, write that book together? I just did. Oh, I see. We got a lot of things from you. Yeah. It's just... I hate this movie before you ever heard of me. Man, I love this view of Mo's swing. This is what I call the back view. This is the camera sitting behind Mo. I don't think we spend enough time looking at this angle. I know I do with my students because this tells me a lot about pelvis position, sacrum position, spine tilt, tilt of the body, and then the rotational aspects of bracing against the trail leg. Let's go through it because I love this view of Mo's swing. Look when Mo gets at his address position. What you see is this nice angle of his body. So you see, the tilt of his upper body, the angle of his lower body, and you see this nice angle of tilt in his body. I love the way you see this because, because what you're seeing there is the position of how he's tilting his body to allow the arms. Because, because the face on view, you would see this arm lined up and the proper tilt of the shoulders, and that's creating this proper space. So look at the tilt of the body. Look at the legs and how they're braced, and look at the foot position. This is a dynamic position to brace the body. Now, this is where it gets pretty interesting. Watch in the backswing here. So he starts taking the club back. Look how he braces against that trail leg. You gotta love, and watch the pelvis. This is where I get into the debates about lateral movement because this is the sacrum of the, of the, of the lower body and, and it actually moves slightly forward as he rotates. It's not a lateral motion and this is where people get super confused is they think that it's a lateral motion and because he's rotating, the sacrum gets moved forward. So you'd have to say the rotation's causing it, right? Cause and effect. You wouldn't want lateral motion without rotation. 
So that's what you see in Mo's, the back view of Moe's swing is you see a rotation bracing against the trail leg that's allowing the sacrum to have a look of a forward movement there. Now, it stays forward. So now he's forward and then he braces into that lead leg. Look at how he braces into the lead leg. This is a great view of the lead knee position because he's bracing into the lead leg. Now, here's the thing. Watch him keep the lead, lead knee there. So he keeps the lead knee there and then he rotates his way through. And so he rotates his way through around that braced lead leg. Look at that sacrum now. It is coming back. So the net effect of lower body movement, if that's, if you're looking at middle of pelvis, the net effect of the lower body is there's no lateral motion. Hang on a second. And it looks lateral. You're saying, oh, it looks lateral. And here's why it looks lateral. Because if you're looking at the sides of the pelvis, they're rotating. So from a camera angle, you're seeing these sides move different directions. So the sides look like they're moving laterally, but you have to look at the center. And if you look at that sacrum, and this is a great angle to look at, it moves forward, stays forward, braces into the leg, and then comes back. So that net effect of that internal part of that sacrum isn't moving much. Here's, here's the takeaway from all this. And it's a super stable sacrum position. In other words, there is control happening of the lower spine because that's the lower spine is where it connects to this pelvis. There's control happening there. And the question should be, how do I control this? Well, the only way you can control it is with your knees and your feet, what happens below it. So I gotta, I gotta control the sacrum of the swing. So watch what happens here when I take it back. I'm controlling the sacrum I'm, with my legs. I don't feel like I'm moving it much, but I'm still turning foot down, knee flexed. Watch this, watch this golf swing here. And it's a super controlled sacrum position. So it's just, it's bracing, controlling, bracing. I'm, I'm limiting this. It's a limit. I'm, I'm creating limits with my legs, a limit here and a limit here to control the lower sacrum. That's such an, a huge aspect because what you see a lot of people doing is lifting, extension. You got to basically work the knees and the feet to control the sacrum that allows the upper body to have that freedom. Hope you enjoyed that content today. Give me a bell icon, hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you enjoy this content because I'm going to teach you more about Mo Norman and the single plane swing.